It's an amazing name. Josh Silver. Their nonverbal communication to the world around them improves. 
fires over the Pete uncles, lighting up the cerebellum like the Christmas tree. And it instantly potentiates like millions of neurons. And so the cerebellum becomes more effective in what it needs to do, mainly coordination, balance, and motor learning. So how does this translate? It means that this old lady that you adjust, she avoids a fall that could have crippled her. Uh, this athlete that you adjust, this pro baseball player, he's able to throw another 10 strikeouts that season. Or like this little kid that you adjust, he takes his first step. That's profound. Comes out of the cerebellum, hits the thalamus. The thalamus is a gatekeeper, and as it receives this input, its integration as a whole improves. Now, Dr. Carrick demonstrated this. He adjusted people and their blind spots got smaller, and plus, their perceptual ability of the world around them improved. But what if this is the key to Harvey Lillard? You see, Harvey Lillard's ears work fine, his auditory nerve work fine, his brain stem is probably intact. But when it hit his thalamus, it wasn't at a level of threshold high enough to pass it on to his temporal lobes for perception. By giving him that adjustment, it charged this area, turning it online again. And he was able to hear. Now, it showers out of the coronary diodon, it bathes the parietal lobes in him, but as it does, it creates neuroplastic changes all over it. For the first time, the patient's like, oh, that felt good, or, you know. The parietal lobes are where we have our sensation of touch. Now, Dr. Jack Borla, who's here with us tonight, likes to say that medical doctors help their patients feel better, and this is only better, because they use pharmaceutical drugs to inhibit pain. But chiropractors help their patients feel better. And he's absolutely right. By causing plasticity throughout the parietal lobes, patients become more in touch with their bodies. They, they actually feel better. They want to hug more. They want to do more stuff. But the truth is, as pain and pleasure compete for perception in the brain, pleasure wins. We, we just feel better. We feel less pain as a side effect. So my amendment is, I practice up with patients, feel that! <laughs> <laughs> Other aspects of parietal lobes include spatial awareness, mass skills, visual screens, and as these improve, we can see learning disabilities go away. We do. Now the final and perhaps the most profound move in all the circuitry is the final feed forward mechanism to the frontal lobes. Now the frontal lobes are the human brain. They give us everything we have as humans. It allows us to plan, coordinate, to organize and strategize. It allows us to think critically, but also imagine wildly. It's a reality simulator. You can think about actions you might want to do, and then start thinking if they're a good idea or a bad idea, and what the outcomes would be, before you even do them. So, as you increase the frequency of firing in the frontal lobes, you actually make people more human. You see, they can think clearer, and their impulsive act actions go away. They become happier people, their depression goes away, but they're able to work harder, they can make more money, they can support their family better. You see, with the frontal lobes, it's endless, it's limitless what we can do. And in this way, mechanistically, we really do help people live to their maximum potential. Mecha vitalism. <laughs> There's one thing I want to leave you guys with tonight. Spatial summation. Spatial summation is this concept that things that fire together wire together. You activate two pathways and they hit one neuron at the same time. They get this net depolarization and an overall larger effect is made. A functional connection is made. So how does this play out to us? It means that a patient comes to my office. The first thing you do is you hug them. You love on them. You want to make them feel good just being there. You start giving them acceptance, joy, just being in your so you bring them into your room, and you lay them down, okay? And now you find your contact point, and right before you're about to adjust, you tell them, I love you, and I can help you. You see, you just combine the somatic afferents, or the limbic arousal of love and acceptance, with the somatic afferents and chiropractic adjustment, to literally plastize love into this human's nervous system. So that's my title. So. Thank you.